This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha, how you doing? Gordo the Techs are here. Welcome to another thrilling and exciting episode of <laughs> Hibachi Talk. I got my good old buddy, he, Rick the Funmeister. How are hey, you, sir? Good. I'm well, thank yeah. you. We're hey, still we... talking after a week to, away together on a trip. Woo, pretty amazing. <laughs> anyway, grab yourself a chair and a libation and join us. We're going to talk about Formula One auto racing. And uh, you and I went to the Canadian Grand Prix. We did in Montreal. In Montreal. Yeah. Was that fun or it, what? <laughs> it was fun. It was as fabulous. near as we it can was, remember. As, it yeah, was right. Fun. As near as we can remember. <laughs> Not that we had any libations other than the water. Our our wives went with us. That's too. true. They made and sure they had a good time too. Yeah. And a we made sure they behaved. All. <laughs> <laughs> we made sure they behaved. <laughs> Um, if you want to call in and ask us a question, call in at 808-374-2014. Um, and we are by no means experts in Formula One. Oh. But I have a quick little video clip I took of the start of the race. And so maybe we can get Rich to pop that up and we'll, we'll give you a sense. We have pretty good seats at the yeah. S-turn. Yeah. Kind of turn up your volume on yeah, this Yeah, part. get ready. Turn up your <laughs> volume on this puppy. It's kind of fun. How was that? That brings back great memories. Oh, I mean, I got, I'm still getting chicken skin thinking about <laughs> that. That was the start of the race. And I can tell you right now that the race was fun, but the qualifying yeah. was more funner. Yeah, more funner the day before. <laughs> more funner the day <laughs> yeah. before because of the, um, um, what everybody was jockeying to get in the top five positions yeah. of what's who's, going on. Yeah, who's going to be, and, and they set new track records. They did. During during the uh, the qualifying the qualifying and then uh, remember that one guy that went off the track came back oh on? yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> we saw yeah. some great stuff it was it was pretty amazing it was just wonderful but you know formula one is an interesting it's an interesting um uh type of race in the fact that it has so many rules and it goes back to 1950. yeah um and um, it's called the formula one grand prix and it's called the Grand Prix because translated in English, it means um, um, grand prizes or great, great yeah, prizes. Yeah, the big prizes. Big prizes. Yeah. And we're going to talk to you a little bit about the money that is spent in, yeah. in this. Um, and I'm hooked on it now. You've been, to, you've been to three, right? Yeah, this is my third one. This is your third yeah. one. This is my first one. Yeah. And, and my three goes, it, it spans millennia. Yeah, so you got a lot. <laughs> so you go back to when it was... Um, Fuel engine and not hybrid, because now they're yeah. fuel and electric, which is many, many people probably don't realize is that these Formula One race cars now are fuel and electric, and they don't refuel during yeah. the race. Yeah, you run out of gas, you you better, your gas. batteries have to get you the, get rest, you the rest, rest of the way. way, all the way through this. So it's, it's interesting. So it's the Formula One, it's a series of races, and we'll talk about all the different races that go on over the course of a season. So it's like a baseball yeah. season or football season or hockey season. Um, and there's winners. The winners are the drivers, but also the constructors of the, the cars. Constructors, yeah. So you've got two things happening here. It's like you've got the different car competitors and the different drive driver competitors, competitors to yeah. win the uh, season, to be the champions of the season, right. which is kind of a really kind of a cool yeah. kind of thing because there's two things happening yeah. here. And some of the constructors actually construct cars, you know, that... We can we can buy. We can go. To not the a Formula dealership. One car. It's not a Formula One car, but so Mercedes. Mercedes is a is a constructor of Formula One. Ferrari. Ferrari is in another one. McLaren. Now. McLaren. Yeah, not as not as affordable, <laughs> as popular, and as affordable yeah, and as affordable. Some of the others. But but uh, there's but there's and even there's the constructors we've never heard of, like yeah. Haas. H A A S. Yeah. That's an American firm. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. So, and I think there are actually, we, or at least I know, of Haas, and he, you know, he was with, uh, who was the actor on that? 
uh, Paul Newman. Paul Newman. Newman right. Haas. Newman Haas. Different Haas, though. Unrelated. Unrelated. Yeah, yeah. But that was the name so, that would sound yeah. familiar. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. And then um, Red Bull. No, Red, everybody, yeah. you've heard, you're, everybody knows Red Bull. And they're yeah. using Honda engines. Yeah. So, but it's a Red Bull car using Honda engines. Kind of interesting. And there's, is there, um, is there an American driver in, uh, I, in the drivers? I there was don't, there's a Canadian. There's a Canadian. Yeah. Um, I don't. Hamilton's English. English, yeah. yeah and and then, um, I just don't remember a driver from the U.S. I don't. That's in the, I don't remember. This, there's this. a there's a U.S. Grand Prix in uh, in Texas. In, in Texas, in yeah. Texas, and that's reasonably. But I think one of the the uh, things we were talking about a little bit earlier is how uh, how how popular the Formula One is. Worldwide, not so much in in the United States. Right, but you so that's but you bring up a good point. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna just read the quote yeah. here, right? Yeah. From that, so that this sport, Formula One, is lesser known in the U.S. Right? Not that many people know about right. Formula One. You maybe see it on TV and a little bit like that. Um, is known in the United States than than NASCAR Sprint. Everybody knows yeah, NASCAR know Sprint. NASCAR. Um, that Sprint Cup series. So you got NASCAR Sprint Cup series. Um, uh, uh, the Indy, Indy, Indy car yeah. series. So, um, but in terms of budgets and global TV audiences and 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 such, Formula One outdoes them. Both of those combined. You combine NASCAR and IndyCar no, together. Together, and, and this Formula One, One beats them combined. Yeah. So that gives you a sense of of the. The global reach that it has. Yeah. It's kind of like soccer, right? The World Cup's yeah. coming on right now. There you go. That's and a great. Europeans yeah. and, and, and such are very much, they know their soccer, they know their teams, and so on. U.S. has always been kind of lagging behind in, in, on, on that. In yeah, that space. in terms of its popularity. In, in terms of yeah. its popularity. So, let, so let's take a look. You, you mentioned it earlier. Let's, well, um, um, but I think the takeaway on that is okay. this is very popular worldwide. Yeah. Maybe not so much in the u.s in the u.s but, but worldwide how many flags did we see being waved in the stands from oh, all over the world yeah in canada uh, yeah they were so thousands we were, of people yeah. thousands I, I don't think i saw any u.s flags. i didn't see any US <laughs> flags. No, no but they're based upon you know kind of if if you were a ferrari you know there were italian flags but for all the drivers, bags, they were, you know, yeah, they were England, all, yeah, they were, they were we all there. A, we have a slide probably later though. We'll come up with, but there's 21 races worldwide. We're going to show it right now. That's oh, the are. next slide. Okay. So you're, you're, well, we're I'm, getting really into sync as host and co-host here. It's just awesome. Yeah. So anyway, there's 20, 20 races over the course of the season, and um, we were the we were at the Canadian Grand Prix, which was race number seven. Yeah, you can pop that slide up. Race that'd be great. Thank you. And um, so this there is the, you this is a sense of all yeah. the different races that go on around the globe. And look at these, look at these um, yeah. um, locations. I mean, I, I, I am so trying hard to get to one for the rest of this year, and I can't. <laughs> so I got to wait till next year before I go to my next one. Yeah. Um, but, but I mean, look at the places. Bahrain, they're in China. Yeah. You know, Azerbaijan. You know, it's like, well, I got to get my, you know, my map out to figure out where that is. It's up but, way yeah. up in the corner someplace. Yeah, yeah. somebody in Crimean Peninsula or yeah. somewhere in there. You know, and other, a lot of European right. are through there. Singapore, Russia, Japan, yeah. are, you know, the United States. Uh, so so, uh, um, so Mexico, this weekend. Brazil, United Emirates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This weekend we got, uh, Aust it's in Austria. So I have a mobile app. I love it. So here's one. It's a freebie. It's a freebie Formula One mobile app. It's not the game, but it gives you <laughs> it gives you everything that's going on in um, in Formula One. There's the free one, and then there's one you pay for where you get to watch the races and so on. But it's got a countdown. I mean, it literally has a countdown on one day, twelve hours and thirty seven seconds to the next the next one to the next race. I mean, and where is this in Austria? In Austria. In Austria. Oh, you said that. I said you? that. Yeah. I did say that. Yeah. So um, probably the most. The most uh, one that most people think about or have seen or some is the one in Monaco. Yes, that's yeah. the one that you know certainly gets the uh, the media, the press. Um, yeah. I hear 
um, the yachts that come in there with <laughs> yeah. helicopters on them. And we're talking money here. Yeah, we're, we're talking, talking big, big old school money. Yeah, and, and speaking of which, so, so we were doing the research, like, you know, per car per year, it's about 150 million. Yeah. Per car per season. Per season, yeah. So yeah. that's what it takes. So we don't even know what other periphery costs are, but yeah. to run these 20 races, it costs each At least, entity yeah. around $150 million yeah. for the season. That's a nice chunk of change. Yeah, it's nice to have that much money. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to crash the car. You go, oops, a ah, million <laughs> yeah. here, a million there. What the heck? Um, so, so pretty, pretty incredible. So, um, so we'll show up another. We're going to get into the rules in a little bit. But we'll show up another slide. And this is like we were talking about ranking of the, the car, the constructors. Yeah. The car manufacturers. Yeah, the constructors and then the drivers. And the drivers and how much they get paid. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of an interesting thing that we started to get a really sense yeah. for. This is a, really the, the fourth slide, I think, in the deck. We'll get them to pop that yeah, up. Yeah. And see, what well, right now as of um, the end of France... The, yeah, the the race in France. So that was last in weekend. France, yeah. France, France. Yeah. That's Probably the one, sir. Indeed. Thank you. So here's the. So you see the. So the car ranking right now is Mercedes at one, Ferrari at two, Red Bull, which is, has Honda's engines yeah. at three. Renault. Who hears a Renault anymore? I know. Well, do you know anyone that drives a Renault? Actually, a Renault. I don't. I think there's a guy around the corner from me, that, but ahead. it's a, but it's a, no, I'm sorry. It's a French car. It's a Citroen. Oh, Citroen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A lemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And then you got McLaren and then you've got Force India, which is an interesting India, yeah. an Indian base. Haas, which is the we US one we about, talked about. Yeah. Toro Rosso, Sauber and uh, Williams. Williams is yeah. a, are they American too? I don't believe so. No. I, uh, for some reason, I think they're, they're English. They're English. I think they're British also. Yeah. But you can see, so the, so we talked about the, the, how the season works, yeah. right? The constructors. But there's a question in my mind. Okay. And I don't know the answer for it. There's Red Bull. Right. And they're in third. But then in eighth is Toro Rosso. Toro Rosso. Red Bull in in Italian. I never knew that. I think I think that's what I, that I think is. you're actually yeah. actually right. Hey, what's going yeah. on here? Exactly. They're pulling the Red Bull over my eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or the Bull over my eyes. Oh, that's pretty interesting. But the Red Bull is doing much better than the Toro. The Toro Rosso. Rosso. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's just the, you know, the Italian must version be in the or meal. what. Yeah, maybe meal. that's where they do the testing. But take a look on the the, the, the right-hand side of this uh, of this chart. And look at what these guys get paid. Yeah. And I mean, it, the and disparities. The, yeah, from the high end. $40 million a season. Yeah, to the low end. Uh, $150,000. $150, yeah. So, and there's like, there's not that many drivers. There's like 20 some yeah, odd. 20 drivers. 20, uh, 20, 20, 20 drivers. 20 drivers. Yeah. They have to have these super driver's licenses yeah. too, whatever they may be. But you can't get at the DMV because it's always down here, <laughs> yeah. as it was again last week. <laughs> Maybe I'll go down there and ask. As for yeah. a, I want a super driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you take down, you know, the the piece so that they can make sure that it's going to be, uh, you know, work for you. Driver's license will work for you when you go to the airport. When I go to the airport, and, and I'll and I'll pull in my Formula One car into the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, so I'm go. here from our super driver's license. <laughs> yeah, uh, and you're only, McLaren. It only seats one person, and I don't know how this guy's going to track me around down driving around Honolulu. Yeah, we'll just send him, you know, on, you know. Give them an electronic uh, view of what we drive. Yeah, actually, and you it. can. They've got cameras on the back of the um, of the cars. Oh yeah. So yeah, remember we were there because yeah. we were we were watching the race and then had large That's screens right, yeah. where we were seeing what was going on. When you when you're not yeah. seeing what's on the track that we're visual yeah. on, the rest of the race we get to see what's behind the yeah. the cars and what's the happening. Little on piece. I think it's you know it's on our shirts actually. You know, it's yeah, like oh. this this little piece up here. That's a Canadian flag. Yeah. No, down one. Oh, down over here. Yeah, oh, right wherever. above the wing. Yeah, above the wing. Oh, right here, maybe. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> They're probably going to cut this piece out. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm looking pretty buff today. Anyway, um, we got to take a break <laughs> and pay some bills. And we're going to come back and we're going we're to talk a little bit more about the rules. We're going to talk about tires. Yeah. Spelled with a Y. And then we're going to talk about the driver, the steering call. Yeah. And what has to happen there. So Gordo, the security guard guy. No, that's Andrew. Gordo, the tech star. <laughs> I was on his show last week. <laughs> Rick's the fun miser. We'll be back in a minute talking about Formula One racing. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. 
the pitch. Hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Do you want to be cool like me? If so, watch my show on Tuesdays at 1 called Out of the Comfort Zone. I sang this song to you because I think you either are cool or have the potential to be seriously cool. And I want you to come watch my show where I bring in experts who talk all about easy strategies to be healthier, happier, build better relationships, and make your life a success. So come sit with the cool kids at Out of the Comfort Zone on Tuesdays at 1. See you there. Hey, how you doing? Girl of the Tech's out here with my good old buddy, Rick the Fun Meister. We're talking about our fun trip at uh, in the Canadian Montreal. Grand Prix in Montreal, Montreal. And um, how much fun we had. You saw the video clip there. Um, that was the start of the race um, after the jets had flown over and all the pomp and yeah. circumstance and cool stuff. So we talked about the race, you know, the, the little bit about the race, the race history, 1950, um, what, you know, the money that's involved in, in what's going on here. A couple of things I wanted to kind of talk about was tires because I know you've been... You've been fascinated by the whole tire thing uh, on this. And there's rules. There's rules, tire rules that are unbelievable. You know, they get yeah. so many tires per year and, and the types and so on. So give us a, give us a, yeah. a rundown on the tires, spelled with the letter Y. Yeah, T -Y. in English. English. Yeah, yeah. in English. I, I don't know. I don't think that, did the I English, like you know, did they develop the tires? or in, They developed the English know. language. Yes, they did. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, so there was a little bit of a change. <coughs> From the 17th season to the 18th season, mm -hmm. and they they did a little bit of, of changes. Some of them were the number of tires and the development of the tires too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read some things here. They rounded the profile a little bit. Now let's back up for one yeah. second, though. But everybody has to use the same tires. Everyone has to use the same yeah, manufacturer. The same. Pirelli is the FIA Formula One sanctioned tire, tire, tire provider. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so and I, I guess they, I know in the past they used to be Goodyear, they used to be, uh, what, Michelin, yep. uh, but for several years I'll say, I'm not sure exactly what, they've been Pirelli tires. Right. Uh, so Pirelli is responsible for supplying the tires, but also manufacturing the tires and determining how they are going to manufacture and what they will manufacture. So everybody's on, on so the same playing same field. Same playing field. They, this year, 2018, they made the profile a little bit rounder. The other thing is that they put in some new materials. They're not going to tell us what new materials. I think that only Pirelli knows what that is. Which could end up in our tire yeah, that, on a car that we buy in two absolutely. or three years. Absolutely. It's, yes, it's testing what works, what doesn't work. Uh, and they're... What they said they wanted to do with those changes was to improve the distribution of forces uh, on the contact patch. And the contact patch is the patch where the tire is actually on the road. Okay. okay. And I like to say gripping the road. Why is that so important? Is because the, the lateral force is equal to five times gravity. Five G. Yeah. So, so think about that. When that car is making that turn, yeah. five Gs. Pushing you to one on side. On these tires. Yeah. That contact patch holds up to five Gs of force. Well, the car would now, be like yeah. this. Now, in the regular car, you know, a sporty car that we would have, you know, that we could go to the, the dealership and buy, you know, that's probably just, oh, yeah, I mean, a 1.1, a 1.2 Gs. So this is five times that. Yeah. You know, and when we think we go around a corner pretty, pretty good. Yeah, well, the way you drive. Yeah, well, well let's not talk about yeah, that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how the nuns think you drive, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> so, but so, five, 
five, five times. So tell me about that. But the types of tire cars. There's yeah. there's all these this range of tire right. types. Yeah. So what the hell is and the there, type of tire? There are three. I'll say three kinds of types of or categories. Okay. Uh, the two big ones are and I don't know the, the two are the rain tires, which you would use when it's raining, mm -hmm. and then the uh, the dry tires when it's not raining. Last year, there were five different types of dry tires, and now they're up to seven tires, uh, seven Ty different types. types. Yeah, so tires. you've got hard ones. Hard ones and soft and ones. And then soft ones, yeah. medium soft. Right, and I mean, they, they, are, they start from the hard ones. They call them a super hard, yeah. a hard, which they also call ice, just a medium, yeah. a soft, a super soft, an ultra soft yeah. and a hyper soft. So, so when we're sitting here talking about the technology that's behind yeah. all of this, we're talking about one of the most important things that I learned on this trip was the importance of the tires. But there's also rules on the tires yeah. on when and how you can use them. Yeah. And those all have to be predetermined and resubmitted to the, uh, it's like the baseball um, manager submitting the the um, oh the lineup, the roster, yeah, the lineup. Here's, the lineup. here's the lineup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but here's here's our tire lineup, right? As sanctioned by the FIA yeah. and all the things that happen in that. Yeah. So it's, this is like this is amazing. Yeah, and so Pirelli has to say these are the tires that we will have at this racetrack. Yeah, and for the first race of the season, you know that's the end of of March. They have to tell. The, the folks. FIA. It, yep. Yeah, the FIA. These are the tires we're going to bring on the first, you know, the first race. They have to tell them in mid-December. Uh, it's almost four or four months ahead. And these are on new cars. On cars that they're putting together. And new cars. Yeah. And remember the car, the car we saw, the engine blew up and it was driving yeah. the next day? Yeah. I mean, these guys were up all night putting this car together. That's, that's, so anyway, there's that. Now, of those seven, there are three that you can you can actually qualify on and qualifying you talked a little bit about the, it's the day best. before that's where everything it's better than, it's better than the race yeah because in qualifying i don't think that there's any holding back no they're going you know, they're going i want to be right up front I i've got to be in the, the top yeah. five because the chances yeah. are well example in that at the canadian grand prix the ch top five never changed positions even including after pit stops. After pit stops, yeah. So think about that. So even after a pit stop, if you were number two, when they came out of the uh, out of the pit stop, they were still number two. number two. Now they don't refuel anymore. No. Can't. But they changed it's, what fifty you know, forty four gallons you get for a race. For a race and that's it. Yeah. And guess what? I was in the the point point system. You get points for how fast you change the tires in the pits. Yeah. So Mercedes at the Canadian Grand Prix, no, the France Grand Prix they were the number one in point getter for the constructor um, um, and changing four tires in 2.32 seconds. 2.32 One one thousand, two one thousand, four tire change. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, like I, can't, I can't change my shoes that fast. Yeah, me neither. It takes you that long to bend over. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyway, so we got the tires. And, so, and, and again, I want to do it because we could spend hours on the tires, but the tires things is really kind of cool thing. But let's go. Let's we'll bring up the next slide and let's talk about the. Um, well, well, I want there's, okay, there's one more one tire thing. thing. Okay. Yeah, one more tire thing. Yes. I will let you. Yeah. The type of tire that you use for qualifying. Yes. You have to use that type. So if you use a super soft for qualifying, you have to start the race on a super the soft. super soft. Now the other rule is that during the race, you have to come in for a tire change, and you can't use a super soft. You have to use one of the other, other tire types. Types, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So you, I mean, there's some strategy like that game. goes into this. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a really good. I'm glad yeah. I'm glad you in, injected that into yeah. it because it's kind of kind of a neat yeah. thing. Because I think you know, it's not only how fast will your car go in a straight line. Yeah. It's how fast your car will go around a corner at five Gs. Yeah. Yeah. And we saw a few guys do some. <laughs> Yeah, Fun with not it. make it. The guy, not make it. But the one though, and during the race, the guy that was in second place that missed an S turn yeah. and still came out of the S turn in second place. Yeah. Now that was 
Went and there was the, cars yeah, scattering yeah. everywhere. Yeah. It was like, whoa. There was car, yeah, grass. And, it's yeah. Everything. and the guy still is in second place. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys know how to Pretty, drive. pretty amazing. So anyway, so um, I'm going to get uh, Rich to throw up the, what will yeah. be our last I mean, slide. They, yeah, we said those, those guys know how to drive. Yeah. They, some of them get some big money. Too. Oh, yeah, well, $40 million, Yeah. Or $150,000. 40 million plus, plus Bonuses. benefits. Yeah. yeah. So we got two minutes, and we're not going to get through all of this, but this will just show everybody. This, this is the driver's steering wheel. <laughs> now, I'm the driver of this car, and I got all this technology going on. And by the way, the technology is that they've got computer systems at the race, then they've got the computer systems at the uh, constructor country. Yeah, back, yeah. Back They're wherever that may real be. Real time. Real time, monitoring every aspect of that vehicle and all talking and advising each other on what things should be going on with that vehicle. Yeah. Talk about the Internet of Things. Yeah. I, I mean, mean they've... Yeah, they've, they've really got that, they know, they've got the car wired, they got a lot of sensors going on they in got there. sensors, they've they got can, the drivers, they've got yeah. radios, they've got, so even if you get a chance later on when you go look at this, sh the, at, at this um, uh, show, you can just, well, just hit stop when you take a look at this and see all the different things that the driver has the ability to do, and we haven't even talked about curves. Right. And, um, and what that does as far as the aerofoils and everything like this. But, you know, so you've, you've got this, <laughs> this steering wheel with all of these buttons and things going on. You know, and the road. I'm a driver. Yeah. I'm a driver. I'm in uh, what? Uh, fireproof, fireproof gloves. And I'm doing 225 <laughs> miles an hour. Right. I I. Don't really spend a lot of time looking down at the I thing. Can't you know, I can't even change the think. channel on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> you say text, don't drive. Yeah. These guys are texting and driving constantly. Yeah. It's, I mean, yeah. it's 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 phenomenal. And, and the yeah. other part that's amazing is like when the race was over, the fans that that leaped, uh, you know, the race is uh, over. Checkered flag in the Canadian Grand Prix. The woman raced the checkered flag one yeah. lap too early, which is <laughs> oops, <laughs> oops. Um, my bad. My bad. Um, and it didn't change the outcome. But um, when the race is over and the, they come back to the pits, everybody leaps over the fences. Yeah. Right? They were running through across yeah. the. It was like they were running across the infield. You know, they wanted to. They get right yeah. next to the winner and be part yeah. of that that celebration. Yeah. It was pretty incredible. Be part of the winner's circle. Of, yeah. So anyway, this is you know this has been kind of our little our little um, memory lane about Formula One racing, like our T-shirts were matching T-shirts. There you go. Um, our wives bought these for us. Yeah. Or at least my mine. mine. <laughs> Not mine. Anyway, um, so we haven't begun to cover the details in Formula <laughs> One racing, and now that I'm hooked, we might do a whole series on this. Um, but the technology behind it is the part I really want to get into. But thank you so much. I had a great trip. Hey, thank you, Gordon. We it had a Good time. You know, it really was. Be sure to watch really us uh, in the future. Who knows what our show is going to be. Yeah. Uh, Fourth of July next weekend. No show. Yeah. So yeah. we can take a rest. Well, I'll be on the Big Island, so I'll be enjoying myself. So thanks again, everybody, for watching us. Thanks for the team who supports us and keeps us um, keeps us going. Absolutely. They got that video inserted in there nicely. That was very cool. I thank Rich for getting that done. And uh, we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. And Have a great like Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. And like we say at the end of every show, I almost forgot. Yeah. How you, you doing? doing?